statues are moving! Another one of the prophet's miracles, I guess. What do we do? It doesn't look like we can beat those things through normal attacks. They do look hard, but they're also on the slow side. We'll just have to use that to our advantage. fighting them one by one. Yeah, I'll use alchemy to finish them off. smell something sweet and sour smell hold it ed what's that black thing over there is it a puddle a puddle it's not like it's raining outside or the maid's been cleaning the temple hallways i don't know and another thing doesn't it feel like someone's watching us now you've got me paranoid. for us. creatures like that before. They obviously weren't human, but they weren't any sort of animal. Could they have been a product of the Philosopher's Stone too? That must be it. Cornello must have made those inky black monsters. And I hate tasteless transmutations. But tasteless transmutations are your forte, eh? Well, we can clear that up when we meet Cornello. Let's hurry out. Huh? Oh, yeah.
This must be the room that Rose told us about, where we could find the Prophet. I guess it's finally time to have a face-to-face -face chat with the Grand High Windbag himself. Now be on your best behavior, Ed. We should watch his moves and... I know, I know. He is the Prophet after all. I'll be good. Welcome to our sacred temple. What could a state alchemist want here? Have you come to hear a sermon? I don't have time for sermons from a con man! Your ring! It's the Philosopher's Stone, isn't it? Let me put this as simply as possible. Hand it over! Ed, I thought you said you'd be good. Hmm. So the state alchemist sees through everything. Indeed. The legendary alchemic amplifier is in my hands. We've been searching for ages. We'll keep quiet about your swindles if you hand over the stone, so... <laughs> that is utterly absurd! Those citizens are my faithful servants. Do you think they'll listen to you? <clears throat> Spare me the self-righteousness. Now I'm starting to feel sorry for all the people who believe in you. The believers do not even realize that the miracles are nothing but alchemy. No need to sympathize with such fools. The only use I have for them is merely as pawns for war! Father! Is that... is that true? What? Rose, wh where did you come... how? Are you saying that you're not going to grant me my wishes through your miracles? Is Cain not coming back from the dead? Mm. True, I am not a commissary of God. But with this stone, I may have the power to revive your fallen love. <gasps> Rose, don't listen to him! Rose, be a good girl and come to me. I am the only one who can make your wish come true. Remember, Cain? Now come! Rose. <laughs> I'm sorry, you two, but this, this is the only hope I have. <laughs> Such a good girl. And now, perhaps it's time to defeat the heretics who threaten my order. Quite a powerful stone, as you should well know, boy. For instance, I can easily forge something like this. A chimera. Go get them, my beast! Rip them to pieces! Get a good taste. Oh, Rose. Don't look away. You need to see what happens. 
When you try to bring a human back to life. When you cross into God's territory, or whatever the hell it is. Mechanical limbs. Your auto mail. I see. Now I understand you. You are the full metal. The full metal alchemist. Well, that does answer a riddle of mine. Why the military would give a pup like you such a stern name. Full Metal. See, Rose, these miserable boys dabbled with the most forbidden taboo in alchemy, human transmutation. In the process, I lost my entire body, while Ed lost his left leg to the other side. The other side? With his left leg gone, Ed transmuted my soul and bound it to this suit of armor, sacrificing his right arm. <sighs> the two of us try to revive one dead person, and look at us now. Rose, this is what happens when you try to bring back what's dead. Do you really want to go through with that? Silence! Just shut your mouths! You are simply a sorry pair who stepped on the toes of God and were rejected! But this time, I'll make sure you fools pay Leto a permanent visit! Miss them, my chimera! Could my chimera be defeated? Oh, you snotty brats are such a pain! What? Where does he think he's going? You're not getting away from me! Ed, hold on! Wait, please! I still can't believe what you said. How much you had to sacrifice to transmute a life. The basis of alchemy is equivalent exchange. In order to gain something, you have to pay the equivalent price. Then, if that's the case, both of you have paid a hefty price. You must have gotten your... Our mom was so nice. She was the best. We just wanted to see mom's face again. See her smile. Just one more time. But our transmutation was a failure. The mom that we transmuted didn't look like a human being. <gasps> We've given up on bringing her back, but Ed still wants to get my body back the way it was before. I want to get Ed's body back too, but even that's a risk that could cost us our lives. <sighs> this thorny path of life is our fate. So you see, Rose, this path is not for you to follow. <laughs> <laughs> 